What's up everyone? I got a new addition for the Street Glide. This is gonna be a cell phone holder by Rockform. They have a couple different options you can buy. Um, this one here is gonna be the perch mount option. Uh, and they also have a handlebar option that's, it's like a clamp style to clamp onto your handlebars. The reason I decided to go with the perch mount versus the handlebar mount is I plan to get new bars in the future for the Street Glide that are taller and I like the look of the inch and a half, so I didn't want to buy that and then have to buy another one later where this will be universal because it will go on the perch instead. They have some other options out there. So another popular one is going to be the quad lock. Um, and I'll kind of get into the differences between the two and why I chose to go with rock form over the quad lock. Uh, but as you see when we open it up, so here it is, has 360 degrees of rotation and... It can pivot from negative 20 to 55 degrees uh, in and out. Uh, inside the box, go ahead and open this up. So you have the actual mount itself. This is gonna be made of metal. Uh, it's an aluminum, I believe. Yep, aluminum. Um, and so it's gonna be very durable, last as long as you need it to. I mean, it'll probably out, outlast me. So as you see, this will rotate out kind of however you want. And then it'll also spin however you want. Um, so I believe you would need to kind of loosen this, adjust it, tighten it back down to get it exactly where you want. Uh, for the mounting pieces, so this is your main mount here. And then you have two sets of screws each one having the different spacers. So you'll determine which spacer you need. You can kind of see that. Which spacer you need for your motorcycle. Uh, it comes with the Torx tool to be able to install it. And then uh, this looks like a lanyard of sorts. Then pull those rubber bands off. Yeah, so a lanyard. Uh, I'm assuming for the cell phone case. I'm not 100% sure. We'll Break out the instructions and see what it says. So that's not actually instructions. It says thank you for your purchase. So non-electronic products include a two-year limited warranty. So this is going to be warranted for two years. Uh, let's see. I'm not seeing inst installation instructions anywhere. Well, so that's the the mount itself, and then like I said, we'll look at the actual cell phone case. And so this is a big reason why I chose to go with rock form over the quad lock. Um, doing reviews on it, the quad lock, where the, it mounts, so this little guy will kind of twist and pop out. Like that. Um, where it mounts on the quad lock, it actually kind of like lumps up a little bit. And so when you set your cell phone down with the case on, it doesn't sit flat. So it'll kind of like rock back and forth. And I didn't really like that. I felt like that would get annoying to me. So I chose to go with the rock form instead. Um, additionally, the quad lock is made of a hard plastic. Now I'm sure that plastic would be fine to last you as long as you need it to. Uh, but this being aluminum, just kind of swayed me towards the rock form. Now the rock form is quite a bit more expensive than what the quad lock is, but uh, to me it was worth the extra money to get to where I didn't have the annoyance with the case and to have it made of aluminum instead. Uh, so we'll go ahead and pull out my cell phone, take this old case off, pop this new case on. There we go. So all of the buttons, I mean, they're very, tactile still so it's not like uh, affecting how you can click the buttons or anything which is nice uh, you can still get to your um, mute or vibrate switch there and then obviously still get to where your plug-in goes for charging also the rock form has a magnet right here so like i said if i put it down on the table it sits flat uh, it doesn't rock or anything any direction um but with that magnet, uh, if I find something metal here, actually, I'll just use the 
the mount itself so not hooking it onto the actual locking mechanism if i just hold it up to it you can see it magnetizes to the actual uh, mount itself so putting the cell phone on is going to be just a line up the grooves as you see these are kind of offset so you'll initially have it at an angle put it on twist it and now it's locked on and there's my cell phone cutting on and then twist it to come off and cell phone removes so pretty quick and easy uh, they make other pieces you can put back here so this was just a filler piece that came with it uh, but they do make it if you want to swap in other pieces when you're not using it on the motorcycle mount itself um so ones that have like that little ring so you can put your finger through it and hold your phone uh and then i want to say they also have an adapter you can get that will go from this mount so between this and the phone and it'll have this on the front side of it as well and you'll hook the phone onto that and it'll be a wireless charger to do the wireless charge if your phone has that capability i never use wireless wireless charge so i'm not too concerned with it uh, it was an additional cost though to be able to do that uh, to buy that piece but yeah overall construction looks really good uh, but we'll go ahead out to the garage and install it on the bike see you in a minute all right in the garage with the street glide so the perch mount is going to go right here i mean you can do it either side obviously you have the same thing on this side where your uh, brake master cylinder is um if you have a pre-21, so I think from 2014 to 2020, uh, you would also have the clutch master cylinder on this side. Uh, but in 21, they went back to the mechanical clutch versus the hydraulic clutch. Um, so it makes it pretty simple to just pull off this left side. We'll undo these, um, add the proper bolts with the spacers with the rock form mount right back into there. Uh, so these two screws are going to be a T27 Torx, and then the ones for the actual rock form mount itself are going to be T25. Um, the supplied tool that comes with it is going to be a T25, so you'll need T27s to get these out, uh, so you don't try don't end up uh, stripping out that star pattern. So I have my own tool um, or my own Torx sets for a socket, so I'm just going to use that for both because it's going to be easier than trying to use their little hand tool they provide um but we'll go ahead and we will loosen up these guys and put the rock form on so be careful when you're doing this not to hit your tank with your tool i'm just going to loosen both of those and as you see now it's getting loose i can kind of rock that back and forth um so when you put it back on you want to make sure that you you know apply the pressure like it's supposed to be to line that back up properly uh so i've gotten both in the, both of those loose set this down on the seat there and we're just gonna take these the rest of the way out by hand hopefully um so that way i'm not risking damaging my tank actually do this take the bit off that they're loose and there's two and after further looking at these screws so this lower set on the bottom there if you can see that says sae where the other ones say metric so being a harley i'm assuming sae but i mean vehicles nowadays what's made in america is still got metric parts on it so um i'm gonna assume sae and we'll go from there. So blue Loctite is going to be your, your best friend on a Harley because of the amount of vibrating it does. So just adding blue Loctite, which is removable with hand tools, so you don't need to use heat or anything like that with, like you would with red Loctite, um, but it'll keep it from vibrating loose over time. All right, so we'll go ahead and put this T25 on our tool here. So that's one two all right and then put a spacer on each with the little rubber washer that's supplied and that'll kind of 
you know, hold the spacer in place as you're trying to put this onto the, the motorcycle. So there they are with the spacers and the washers on. Add a dab of blue Loctite to each. And then all we're gonna do is line these up to their holes. I'll initially get them started by hand. All right, so that's started. And like I said, you wanna kinda add some pressure here, make sure everything is back where it's supposed to be and lined up. You can move this up and down a little bit as you see fit. So kind of position it right there. And then just work your way back and forth between the two bolts to evenly clamp this guy back down so that your joints on either side, the space is even and you're not, you know, completely against it on one side and spaced out on the other. So just little by little, tighten it down. It's about as tight as I can go by hand. So now we'll go ahead and grab our socket. And you just want to go, you know, hand tight. So now I'm just checking the space. So space on both looks good. Looks about even. And it's not going anywhere. And we're going to go ahead and use this guy for the actual mount itself to loosen it and position it how we want with the phone. So we'll go ahead and snug it so I can still turn it, but it's not completely loose. And then grab the phone, hook the phone on. So there you go. You can lock it that way. Have your phone horizontal or undo that. Turn it this way, line them up and lock it in, which is more of how I want the phone. I'm gonna go ahead and keep it that way. And then we're gonna go ahead and get on the bike. Stand it up. And actually that's pretty good right there. Kind of position it out a little bit. I can still access all my controls. So we'll go ahead and pull the phone off, try and hold the mount still so it doesn't rotate on me, and then we'll tighten it down. All right, now that's tight. Yeah, so that's the Rockform mount. Like I said, I have nothing bad to say about any of the other companies. Um, Quad Lock being another popular one that people use. I highly recommend that if you're looking for something like this, do your own research, make your own decision. I gave you the reasons why I chose to go with the Rock Form over the Quad Lock. Uh, but again, I've heard great reviews on the Quad Lock. This was just my personal preference. If you have any questions about any of them, uh, go ahead and feel free to leave me a comment and I'll try and answer them to the best of my ability. Uh, this is not the first cell phone mount I've ever used um, prior like I said, I, how I had street bikes, uh, I would use their stem mount, which would go essentially where your triple tree would be, but kind of that hole that would be in there and you tighten it down. It had a rubber gasket that would swell out and grip inside of it. And uh, I used the Ram mounts, which I loved the Ram mount. It worked great. My phone never fell out of it. Uh, this one, I just wanted something slightly different than having the Ram mount sticking up there with the four diagonal pieces just kind of glaring there. So when I remove this, it doesn't actually look bad. Like it looks still clean. Uh, it's black to match the bike. They also make it in Chrome. So if you have Chrome handlebars or Chrome accented bike, um, they make it in that as well to match. But if you got any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer. And thanks for stopping by. Thanks for watching the video. If you like what you're seeing, uh, we're going to be doing more installs like this in the future as well as just more rides. And uh, I'll see you down the road.